but anyhow so emulator we got the um, Mame DOS box that's cool that's really nice actually So a representative from a company called Hekka approached me asking whether I'll be interested to do a collaboration under the condition that they sent me a free sample and doing an unboxing and so on. So Hekka, just so you know, is a newly established international market place uh, that is based in Singapore. So I presume Singapore is their headquarters and they are the official brand partners of well-known brands such as Xiaomi, OnePlus and Chewy as, as well. So they're an e-commerce company, that's how I understand it. And if you want to get a good deal with Xiaomi, OnePlus and Chewy, Hekka is the first place that you should look into as well. So I actually went to their website and um, it's very interesting indeed. So if you go to the menu, uh, you get this phone accessories um, and um, computer and office, electronics, home appliances, uh, sports and outdoors, uh, toys, hobbies and robots, health, beauty and hair, automobiles and uh, motorcycles. And they also have a warehouse at USA, EU and Russia pretty much explaining that they're going international here. Um, so serious business there, so very interesting indeed. So I skimmed around and I found out that they actually have the Ambernic RG280V, which I really wanted. So I asked, can I actually have this as a sample to review? And um, here we have it folks, we got the model here. But very interesting thing about this is that this is actually selling it for 58 pounds and 85 pence great britain pound and um on amazon they're selling it for 69.99 so amazon is more expensive than hekka so hekka has already proven that they're providing a really good deal um, but not only that if you are my fan and if also watching this video uh, you could also get a 10 dollars discount um, if you spend more than $29.99 uh, US dollars, all the description are down below, so please do check it out. So yeah, Hekka sounds very promising and very interesting indeed. So enough said, let's actually do the unboxing of this um, model RG280V and also I'm going to do a quick comparison with the Ambernic, same Ambernic product, which is the RG351V. Uh, so here it goes. Slide up. We got the console here. That's a really nice size. I like that. Um, do you have anything? All oh, right, cool. So we got the USB-C cable. That's very good. That's actually more up to date, isn't it? And also it comes along with the uh, 64 gigabyte memory uh, card as well. And a quick manual of the RG280V. Almost like a card actually slash booklet so please do skim through if you're interested about that side so the main console if you actually take it out um, it comes with this uh, sponge cover and wow that's really um, handy when I say handy is that it's more sort of in a good size to your palm comparing to the 31 351V um, I mean the screen size I guess the 351V is bigger but for the size of the screen is it really worth to have this much of a chunk comparing to the 280v i mean i could easily see that people much prefer this and this is also more pocketable isn't it so if we just run through the whole thing i think this is for the main system memory card and we can actually slot in the 64 gigabyte here volume up and down and on the yeah, there's a earphone jack here and also the charging USB-C there. So the R1, R2 and L1, L2 on the top. So that's very, that's very good. But I guess if you're doing that immediately, what I can see is that it's gonna, you know, somehow hide the screen. I think that's what you're gonna get. Maybe I'm wrong, but um, you got the uh, select and start and it's really good build in a really nice weight. So this is probably much better in a long-term use comparing to the 351V. Both of them are on, um, but I think the Ambernic, the one that I already have, has this sort of like a standard, more sort of ready to play game. But this one 
actually we're on to this other uh, emulation system aren't we so i think we got to manually get into this whole thing to start with or maybe you could program it so you don't need to do that but anyhow so emulator we got the um mame dos box that's cool that's really nice actually i mean let's actually just compare the screen size is it really that much of a difference i guess some people might argue yes most definitely but um i don't know really to be honest with you but the benefit you get for a slightly reduced screen i would say is the size to carry it all right so these are the um, applications that you can use clock um, and i i'm not 100 percent sure not like all of these are very new to me but i got explore here i guess that's where you ex can explore files and that seems to be like a different emulator some emulators here and there and you can also do test in there now next to it we've got um, emulators um, as set i'm actually giving a big credit for this uh, model because it has a dos box as a default it also has different emu like obviously we got the mame x but um, it doesn't have the mame for all so unfortunately i'm a great fan of mame but these are all red listed i got about 5,000 games that i want to play but these are all um, not uh, possible to be played at the moment so i'm trying to figure out how i could uh, play this but anyhow if we go back to the original um, page we've got some other emulators that i'm sure you guys are familiar with we've got some uh, genesis as well and um yeah i mean yeah I'm, I'm sure you can play other games as well so these are the default games which are pretty much not that good quality at all but um i mean i i guess this one could be a quite good one so let's play this um so give you an example of the quality of this one just to warn you the sound quality is quite loud in the default every time when you restart it um, but uh, you can always look at that so you have to reduce it anyway so that's pretty good look at that so if I... okay so let's just reduce that volume yep so that's good old days games isn't it I haven't actually played this one yet, but um, ever in my life actually. But it's pretty much the arcade, classic arcade sort of quality. Uh, so you could do, you know, that sort of thing. So it gives you like what sort of um, emulation you could give and the quality as well. So that's pretty good. The left hand side 351V is more expensive option and um, you can do so many different stuff. It also comes with the Bluetooth uh, connection as well. It vibrates It also um, you can adjust the um, brightness as well, I believe. And it comes with a bigger screen mainly and it comes with two default start at boot, which is one is emulation station and the retro arch. And what I'm really a bit surprised, a bit shocked, is that it doesn't come with the uh, G Menu 2X. I really do like the G Menu 2X because it gives you this manual sort of like programming um, stage that you can customize more if you see what I mean. But if you're not sure how to play with this sort of thing, by the way, I don't come from an IT background, I don't have any relations to computer background on my profession, but I can do research and find out all the information if you see what I mean. But um, just to give you an idea, what I mean is. If you start with the um, Ambonic 351V, this is how you start. So you just need to scroll and choose whatever you prefer. And it's very easy to use to play, but if you want more sort of the old fashioned, but more customizable, I much prefer the um, the G Menu 2X, if you see what I mean, because it's mainly the D Docs. Uh, sorry dos box that you can actually um play around with because my generation we used to play a lot of pc games and uh, it relates to the dos program and so on so i really want this dos box to be installed or somehow the um the so-called the g menu 2x to be available on the Ammonic 351v so i've got a bit of a problem here because i can't really choose which one is better or not obviously quality wise 
the screen size and all the options on the modern stage or friendlier play we got the Ambernick 351V V, but I do like I mean the big um, thing about this whole thing is the DOS box availability for the Ambernick 280V so as you can see the brightness have changed in my studio and it's mainly because I spent hours trying to figure out how I could combine either one of these two units now again one thing i forgot to mention though is that when it comes to the um, ambernex 280v is that the mame um, one which i is one of the most important um, emulators for me is a mame x mame but i'm trying to install the mame for all and that's pretty much taking a lot of time my, my time actually so I just want to finish this review first and then maybe I'll come back to you later on if I do figure it out and I'm sure many of you out there pretty much know how this works but we're actually looking at the default point of view on how this whole system works obviously Ambernick 351V has a higher number which means it's more later model and it has higher spec and it has bigger screens and it's all uh, fan you know singing and dancing kind of model comparing to the 280V but I'm actually leaning towards to the uh, 280V because it's more portable I mean the screen difference to be honest with you uh, comparing to the whole chunk of the size is a really a good ratio um, so I really want to lean on to the uh, the Ambernick 280V but at the same time the Ambernick 351V actually has this mouse scroll which will be very important to use when you actually use the DOS box um, computer related game as well so I'm actually trying to struggle I'm actually struggling trying to figure out which one is better I think it's purely down to how you work things out and these sort of things like retro gaming uh, for my experience because I'm not an IT expert or computer I'm not related to computer side whatsoever um, it does take a lot of your time and effort trying to figure out how to customize it and want to conclude and figure out well basically make it your own sort of console in the end i really hope that um to be honest with you the ambernic 280v could be more of my sort of preference um that everything that i hope that could be worked together but again the mouse cursor is not on this one so unfortunately i got to focus on the 351v but anyhow i just want to thank heka to kindly send through this really nice um, model of uh, 280V so I'll cherish this so um, again if you want to get a really good deal out of these sort of electronic gadgets or any other variety of, uh, of list of goodies that you want to buy please do uh, check out Hekka's um, channel and also make sure you apply my discount code of LJP Tech, uh, so you'll get a £10 uh, discount if you spend more than £29.99. So please do check out the description below and thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye bye.